Good day, McVeigh, and happy Wednesday. How are you today, boys and girls? Good morning. Let's get started with our birthdays. Ah, oh, look at that. No birthdays for today. Hmm. All right. Well, plenty for tomorrow. But we do have some jokes. So, I have one today from Mr. Miller and another one from the York and Sisters. First one, you ready? What has eight wheels and flies? Now, I don't have an illustration of this one, but you can imagine what that could look like. Eight wheels and flies. There'll be a big clue. A garbage truck. Uh, so a garbage truck attracts flies. Get it? Yeah, maybe somebody can draw that for me. That'd be great. All right. And from the Oregon sisters, you ready? What do you call a wolf that is lost? A werewolf. Huh. Yes, very good and awesome illustration. Thank you to the Arkin sisters. All right. So let's get to our riddle. A lot of you got this one. So it was what word, if you add two letters, gets smaller? Shorter. So if you add two letters, E-R, short gets shorter. And so something that was short gets shorter. Well done. So Alyssa, Savannah, Madeline, Sophia Cardali, excellent job. All right. So we have a new riddle for today. What starts with T ends with T and has T in it. Now, I can see a lot of different answers to this one. Let's see. Starts with T, ends with T, and has T in it. I can tell you for sure the answer is not field day. Now, what do you think of this cool McVeigh Birch? Yep. So, may the fun be with you. So, boys and girls, are you getting to your field day events? Today, we should be working on the penguin race. We have our field day coming up. It's going to be super fun. It'll be a little bit different than we usually have at our school, but that's okay. We still can have our field day with our super cool field day shirts for 2020. It won't be this one because we had something else planned, but that's okay. It's going to be fun. May 29th. And have you gotten your self-registered in the Mighty Math Challenge? Practice away. Come on, come on. Get it going. Academics. We have our championships next week, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so where on earth was Miss Tucker? Uh, Miss Zucker, sorry, Miss Zucker. So here are the clues. Here is one clue. Here was another. Now this clue, you may have said to yourself, "Huh, that reminds me of another clue that we saw." early on with Miss K. Miss K had a similar clue and Miss K was in Jordan. So that could have narrowed this down for you if you remember that Miss K was in Jordan. But this was a super big clue. So there were one of two correct answers here. One answer could have been Israel and the other one could have been the Dead Sea. All of these places are uh, in, well, the Dead Sea is between Israel and Jordan, but she went to Israel and she is here in the Dead Sea. But the question is, how could you know this is the Dead Sea? You were researching. Good work, my friends. So, Zach, Devin, Devin, the Yarkins, Emily, the Cardali sisters, Eli, Emma, all figured out it was the Dead Sea, but some of you did some extra research. And I want to read to you some of the answers. Said uh, Devin, the second picture was a big clue because the soil content in the Dead Sea allows you to float easily. That's true, Devin. And Emma added to that. She said it has to be the Dead Sea because the salt makes the water denser and makes your body light enough to float. Very true. And the Cardali sisters really did some research. They said 
we think it's the Dead Sea. And the picture shows it with a camel, so we think it's Israel. We learned that the Dead Sea is between Israel and Jordan. The big clue was her floating with her knees up. They did some research. So see, Sophia said, all right, Emily, we have to do some more research. The reason why she was able to float with her knees up is because the Dead sea, in the Dead Sea, there is a lot of salt that makes the sea dense. The reason why it's called the Dead Sea is because nothing can survive in the sea because there's too much salt for it to grow. Yes. Now, think about that. Now, there's something else that I'm thinking about. How about the Sebastian project with the beans? The Ram Tarpap family has figured this out. Think about the Dead Sea. Think about the beans that Sebastian was trying to grow. It's a big clue. What's happening with Sebastian's beans? Why did one not grow, one grow a little bit in the beginning, and then sort of stop, and the other one take off? Remember, they were salt, sugar, and regular water. What's happening there? Yesterday, Siddharth figured out the question relative to Carter's rainbow hop. Remember, the yellow went fastest. That was a while back. Somebody finally figured it out. Got to be thinking, boys and girls. There's a lot of questions in our world to figure out. And I'd like to share with you another project about things that are growing and see if we can figure out what happened here. Hi, my name is Ella McNamee, and this is my science project. So for my science project, I um, chose to do three plants. Well, I chose to put three plants in three different environments. This one was in the closet. This one was in the, in, well, inside, but with some light. And this one was outside. My hypothesis was the one outside would grow the most. Um, but in conclusion, well, this is, has been about a month, and this is how how much the outside one has grown. This is how much the one inside with some light has grown, and this is the one in the closet. So, my hypothesis was wrong. This one grew the most. And it even has two. Bye. Okay, so what happened there? So, I have some questions that I would want to ask Ella for sure. But what do you think happened there? Why would the one outside grow the least? Hmm. This is how a scientist thinks. Hmm, why did that happen? I have a pretty good idea. Can you think of what I'm thinking about? Huh. All right. So, moving on, though, we have to get to a new where on earth is. You can't see who that is, but that is Miss Wallace. Where on earth is Miss Wallace? Can you all see that? There she is. Where is that? There's another place where I really like to go. Gee, gee, boys and girls, I think I need to get out more, huh? <laughs> I spent all my time here at Big Bay, I think. I don't know. But that's okay because I get to see you guys. All right. So are you getting your work done? Are you getting out of bed on time, boys and girls? Are you getting some exercise, getting out in the yard, doing a little movement? Hmm? You should be. You have to be. You got to stay healthy. Yeah? Okay. Come on. Let's get it going. All right. Finally, we have our mighty kind quote of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. So again, I'm going to my bag supply for the quote today. 
Love this one. Check it out. Kind people are my kind of people. Now, this was drawn by one of the teachers. I don't know who, but that's pretty good. I mean, it's much better than I can do. Kind people are my kind of people. 100%. I really only like to hang out with people who are kind. Kind people are my kind of people. So that means you, you're my kind of people. Why? Because you're mighty minds, but you're also mighty kind mighty minds. And boys and girls, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.